is the Toyota Tacoma manual transmission really that horrible? You know, I've got nine months in the driver's seat now, and I'm going to let you know what I think. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? So is the manual transmission in the 2020 Toyota Tacoma really that horrible? You know, I have had the truck now for nine months, and for the last week or so, I've been daily driving it. Kind of prep work for this video, if you will. And in case you don't know, it is a 2020 uh, Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road six-speed manual transmission in the gorgeous voodoo blue. Uh, but anyway, you know, I was a little hesitant, I gotta be honest, um, when I decided to order a Tacoma and a manual transmission, because I've had manual transmission trucks before, uh, several actually in the past, and you know, they were always less than, uh, less than fun to drive. And that's probably predominantly because they're underpowered. You know, trucks really aren't designed to win drag races, right? I mean, they're designed to haul, pull, you know, low-end torque, stuff like that. Not really geared to run, you know? And, and I like to run. I really do. I like my vehicles to have power. I like them to be able to get out of the way of themselves, you know? So I was a little hesitant. Um, but I ordered it anyway because, frankly, I was jonesing for another manual transmission. Hadn't had one in a while. Uh, matter of fact, the last manual transmission vehicle I had was a, I think it was a 2017 or 18 Honda Civic Sport, um, I think it was a Sport S they called it, I think. Not sure, but it was a six-speed manual transmission, and that thing was a blast. Uh, the only problem with it is it's just slightly underpowered for what I like, because you could run out the gears, get to the end, the top end, and want a little more as a driver, but it just wasn't there, it just wasn't there for me. So, a little hesitant when it came to the manual transmission in another truck. Uh, first of all, gotta say, it has gotten better. I've shot previous videos talking about um, how, I won't say bad, but how uh, unimpressive I guess the manual was. And I think there's a little bit of a learning curve there for me. Uh, getting used to the truck, I guess I should say. You know, the way that the gears work, the way they mesh, uh, the speeds that you should shift, because every manual transmission is different, right? None of them are the same, and they all have their own little nuances. You know, the, the biggest nuance, I guess, in the Toyota Tacoma manual for me is uh, going into first gear from a, a roll, if you will. In other words, you're pulling up to a stoplight, you've got to stop, you need to go back down to first because you're gonna stop, and the gears don't seem to sink, they don't seem to mesh up. So you gotta double clutch it, you know, to get it into first gear, or even start off in second sometimes. That is a little nuance with the Toyota Tacoma, and I've had that before in other vehicles. It's not like that. that's just the Tacoma that's that way. I've had other manuals that were kind of like that. Uh, so that's really my biggest complaint, I guess, if we're going to talk about complaints from a daily driver standpoint, because most of my driving is done in the city. So it's basically racing from stoplight to stoplight. So I get to experience that frequently, and that can be kind of a drag, to be honest. Now, going through the gears, 
You know, which I'm doing a little bit right now as we're driving around. I don't know how well the camera picks up the shifting uh, sound, if you will, but doing that a little bit right now. And I gotta say, I'll give you an example. Going onto the freeway, you know, here we have these frontage roads, right? Where, and they're typically 45 to 50 mile an hour. So you can get rolling pretty good as you're going down the frontage road and then gonna get on the freeway, right? So you can run through the gears pretty well. And I love doing that in this truck. You know, I have the TRD exhaust with a an aftermarket s and cold air intake. And part of the fun of driving a manual for me is the sound. And I get decent sound out of this truck. It's not overwhelming. It's not ear piercing or anything. It's not gonna drive you nuts, but you can hear it. I turn the radio off and then I run up through the gears up until sixth course when you're on the freeway cruising and it's a blast love doing that and the transmission in this truck the manual transmission is set up well enough that you can smoothly run through the gears right you're not going to hit something that you don't want you're gonna you're not going to be shooting for you know fifth or something and hit third you know or shooting for fifth and hit sixth or whatever you know they're pretty easy to run through and that makes it a lot of fun uh, because it's just smooth, I guess. Now, one thing that I have noticed about the Tacoma, there are a couple of sweet spots with the manual transmission in this truck. First is definitely not one of them. Second is really a utility gear. Third is not too bad. Sweet spots are fourth and fifth gear, right? You can cruise in fourth gear uh, for a pretty good range of speed. You know, you can, you can probably travel from about 35 mile an hour or so, really on up to 55, 60 mile an hour in fourth gear comfortably. And the truck's not looking back at you and yelling, what are you doing, shift me, man. Uh, so it's, it's pretty comfortable there. In fifth gear, you know, cruising on the freeway at highway speed, 65, 75, fifth gear is pretty darn comfortable. Um, it really is set up, I think, to uh, to travel and stay in that gear if you want to. You don't necessarily have to go to sixth gear. And I like that because fifth gear gives you enough power that if you want to accelerate at speed, you don't have to downshift, uh, you know, unless you really drop down, which is good, I think. That way you don't have to mess with the gear if you're cruising on the freeway. Now, I will say if you're in sixth gear, and cruising along on the freeway, and you have to slow down uh, even, you know, five to 10 mile an hour, something like that, or closer to five to eight, I suppose. You do have to downshift because you'll find that you'll lag in six gear if you slow down too much. It really is designed more as a cruising gear. Um, not a bad thing. Obviously, it's set up to get the best gas mileage you can get. And by keeping it in six gear and just cruising on the freeway, that's kind of a way to do it with the truck. You know, if you're gonna travel the freeway at freeway speeds in fourth or really even fifth gear, you're not gonna be doing yourself any favor as far as saving a little money at the pump. So anyway, I think it's pretty nice. I do like it. Is it the smoothest transmission in the world? Well, no, I've mentioned that before, it's not. I think that honor belongs to Honda. I think Honda has the smoothest operating and lightest clutch that there is out there. And I wish the Tacoma was just a little bit more like that when it comes to the manual transmission. The only other thing I'll say about it, and this doesn't really have anything to do with the transmission really, is the power of the truck. I feel that if the Tacoma had another, I don't know, 75 to 100 horsepower, or maybe was geared a little bit more like the Jeep Gladiator, uh, it would be even more fun to drive. You'd have more power to run through the gears and uh, and it would be awesome. So that's really my only complaint and it isn't even really transmission related. Anyway, just wanted to get on here and talk about that a little bit. You know, I get questions about what I think about the manual. Has it gotten any better because of some things I've said about it? And the answer is yeah, I do like it. I don't regret, regret getting it. I would get it again. Um, it's just a blast to drive. And if you're a manual transmission driver, then you know what I mean. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, particularly if you drive a manual transmission Tacoma. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you wish it had something else? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, 
If you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.